opponent to my right is accompanied by Larry Sweeney and Sarah Delray. From San Diego, California, weighing 245 pounds, he is representing Sweet and Sour Incorporated and is the reigning NWA heavyweight champion of the world, Scrap Iron MP. Sidelined him from several events. He's back in action, ready to get some revenge and walk away from New York City with the goal. No better way to get revenge on Adam Pearson to hit him right where he lives and take that world title from around his waist. Uh, it was the thing that lured the Hangman 3 over to Sweet and Sour Incorporated. That's what tipped the scales in Adam Pearson's mind to join Larry Sweeney's organization. He told him he had the wherewithal to get that NWA World Heavyweight title recognized here in Ring of Honor. And sure to his word, it's exactly what's happened. Trying to bridge up, and he does successfully. Great show of strength right there by Brent Albright. Backslide. Only near fall, though. Duck of the clothesline. And another shot right across the face of Pierce. Pierce slowly turning around. Realizes just how focused the challenger is tonight. A determined look on the face of Albright. And Pierce trying to slap it off of his face, but... No such luck, Albright, they're waiting for me. I put the boots to him in the corner. You know, not only is it the NWA World Heavyweight Championship belt, but it is a brand new NWA World Heavyweight Championship belt presented to Adam Pierce uh, to celebrate the 60th anniversary of the National Wrestling Alliance. New red strap uh, presented to him to celebrate it this year. 
Pierce with the Irish whip. Albright out of the corner with a clothesline. Knocks down Adam Pierce, and it has been all Brett Albright here since the opening bell. Now just measuring him for these shots here. And ducking out of the way of Pierce's attempts. It's all Brett Albright. Series of jabs from the challenger off the ropes. Westlock on Pierce. And down to the canvas, tumbles Albright. And his throat caught that top rope as Pierce uh, ducked down between the second and third rope. And all the momentum of Brett Albright took him throat first into that top cable. And he is certainly having some difficulty breathing in the corner as Adam Pierce looks to have regained his faculties here and turns his attention back to the challenger in the corner. A little bit of coaching at ringside from the super agent Larry Sweeney. Well, Shane Hagedorn and Sarah Del Rey is it's in Bobby Dempsey's head. Picking up from, well, he is not underneath the ring. And disrespecting referee Paul Turner right there, Adam Pierce needs to watch himself. Uh, just biting Albright in the corner now. Again, Paul Turner trying to get a break from Pierce. Trying to lay down the law here. And of course, uh, at ringside here tonight for this historic matchup. Ooh, headbutt from Adam Pierce right there. Not only ROH President Kerry Silken, but also David Marquez of the NWA Board of Directors also at ringside to witness this event. Pierce caught Albright. Looked like right on the right on the forehead with that wow. headbutt, and Albright has been busted wide open. Yeah, the blood just trickling down his face after the brutality of that headbutt. He caught Brett Albright in the corner. He's looking for a clean break, and he just tattooed him with his forehead right on the hairline, and he split him wide open. That's in a bad spot too, because the blood is starting to drip into the eyes of Brett Albright. Paul Turner a concerned look on his face. And now Pierce trying to cause even more blood to flow. Post fist shots right to that laceration on the forehead of Brent Albright. It's going to cloud his vision, make him a little bit dizzy. And very difficult for Albright to continue during this matchup, considering the blood loss. But he's given it all he's got. Drop kick right to the knee of Albright as the blood on the canvas here. Continuing to flow out of the head of the challenger. And Pierce just measured him with that knee as well. Give Pierce credit. He sees the advantage he just created for himself. And he's staying all over him. Well, now he's just well, blowing snots on him. He was disrespecting the referee a moment ago. And now his opponent as well. Albright trying to fire back. Brett fighting with everything he's got. But the blood loss looks like it's starting to take a little bit of toll on him. As Pierce pitches him out to the floor. And now looks to go outside to capitalize a little bit more on the advantage. And this match held under NWA rules, which means a 10 count out on the floor. Albright trying to pull himself up as the blood continues to cloud his vision. Pierce giving these fans in the front row a good look at the challenger's face. A bloody mess. That's right. That's right. You stay on him. Beautiful, baby. Or encouragement from Larry Sweeney at ringside. And things certainly going according to plan for Larry Sweeney and crew at this point. But Albright, other things in mind as he fires back. Right hand with a move to the midsection. And then face first to the steal. Paul Turner on the outside trying to get the action back inside the ring. He realizes the importance of this matchup and he wants it decided inside of the ring. Again, disrespecting Turner. Adam Pierce is going to do some damage out on the floor. Can we see the pile driver on the floor here? Oh, he's looking to finish him off right here, but Albright with a double leg. Saved himself. Slingshots Pierce head first into the ring post. Well, Albright saved himself from being on the receiving end of a pile driver on the floor and did damage to the champion right there. Sending Pierce now head first into the ring post. And that certainly would have been the end for Brett Albright. Had Adam Pierce been able to connect with that pile driver. And now it's Adam Pierce who's busted open as well. Yeah, all that momentum of the slingshot sent Pierce's head right into the steel. And it has busted open his head as well. Both men in this matchup now bleeding from the head. And so much for the NWA and Ring of Honor officials being seated at ringside. But Brett Albright has decided to move some furniture around. He's cleared off that ringside table. Rolls under the bottom rope to break the count. 
and allow himself a little bit more time to punish the NWA World Heavyweight Champion Adam Pearce out on the floor. Paul Turner giving him a little bit of leeway with the rules here. And not only administering the count on the floor, but you know, there are disqualifications in this kind of a matchup. If you're Brent Albright, you don't want to get DQ'd, so that'll cost you your opportunity of becoming champion. Of course, Adam Pierce, you never know, might try to get himself disqualified intentionally. Larry Sweeney in the ring with a steel chair in hand. A water thrown out of nowhere to save Brent Albright. And to prevent Adam Pierce from being disqualified intentionally just to save the title. and takes him down with the clothesline. Oh, the crowd here in Manhattan has just come unglued. Adam Pierce backdrop. Burst of adrenaline for Brent Albright right here as now he's going to work on that cut on the head of Pierce. Repeated shots. Listen to the crowd, Dave, one more time. Getting behind Brent Albright. Off the ropes he comes. Six one knee gets all of it. He knocked him halfway across the ring. Down comes the knee pad. He's gonna go for those knee strikes. We can have a new NWA world champion. He's got the arm trap. Knee strike to the head. Oh, but takes out the leg, spinning toe hold. Figure four leg lock from Pierce. Oh, what a counter by Adam Pierce right there. If Albright had waited. Been able to weigh in with a couple more of those knees. It might have been over for Pierce, but he gets the figure four cover. Oh, and the pain of the hold forcing the shoulders of Albright against the canvas for an ear fall. Trying to hang in there as these fans encourage Brent Albright. Does he have the strength to turn Adam Pierce over and reverse the hold here? Shoulders down one more time. But again, only an ear fall got those shoulders up off the mat. Trying to inch his way toward the ropes. If he can't turn the hold over, he does reach the ropes to force a break of the figure four leg lock. But so many of the greatest NWA World Heavyweight title matches in history have ended in the middle of the ring with that very maneuver. And Brent Albright fortunately able to make it to the ropes and force the break. But that hold took a lot of strength out of the body of Brent Albright. He is worn down and clutching at his leg after being in that figure four. And you gotta wonder now if those knee strikes have effectively been taken out of the arsenal of Brent Albright, courtesy of that figure four leg lock. Gets the boot up into the face of Adam Pierce. Albright charges, but gets turned inside out by Pierce. Albright kicks out. They didn't hook the leg right there. Albright got the shoulder up, looking for the power driver. Back body drop. Hooks the legs. But only able to get two. So close right there. Sweet and Sour Incorporated continuing to tend Larry Sweeney. Pierce to his feet. Off the ropes, right to a power slam from Albright. Only two once again. You gotta give the champion credit. He's not going down without a fight. And Albright is giving it everything that he's got. Weakened leg or not. Blood loss or not, he is continuing to fight. He is intent to leave New York City with the title. Well, he knows the best revenge he could possibly take on Larry Sweeney and Adam Pierce is to take the NWA World Heavyweight title away from them. Oh, big right hand from Pierce. He's got Albright. Billy to back suplex. Albright is flat on his back. Pierce needs to go for the cover here. Contemplating his next move, maybe to go up top. To follow up after that suplex. Oh, he's looking to finish him off for good here. We've seen that big splash off the top from Adam Pierce so many times before. All the way to the top rope goes the NWA world champion. Smile on his face as Albright's not moving. Nails it. Only two. But he turns him over into the STF. Goes Adam Pierce. Referee Paul Turner checking on Albright's condition. 
He's trying to hang in there as best he can. Albright's arm falls once. Paul Turner checking twice. One more and Pierce retains the belt. Well, he's lost so much blood here. But he still hangs on. Albright refusing to give it up. He's got the crowbar. Really wrenching up on it. But Pierce's leg across the bottom rope to force a break of the crowbar. Taking full advantage of the referee's five count. Sweeney still down on the outside. Being tended to by Shane Hagedorn, Sarah Del Rey, and Bobby Dempsey. Unaware of what kind of trouble his NWA World Heavyweight Champion is in right now. Brent Albright out to the apron. He'll be going up top himself. It's Pierce trying to pull himself up off the canvas. Albright's lost so much blood, he's slow to get to the top here. Pierce launches Albright off the top and through the table. You gotta watch the count here as Paul Turner applies the 10 count. Pierce looking to retain the title via count out. Encouraging the referee to count faster. Albright trying as best he can to pull himself up out of the wreckage of that table. How much strength does he have left at this point? Up to a count of nine. Pierce pulls him back in. Pile driver! Can he get it? He does! Cover by Pierce! in the corner. Pierce back to his feet. Pierce still with a big advantage here. Right hand on the top of the head. Brings Albright out of the corner. Up and over. Pierce hits the buckles. Half Nelson suplex. He got it. But two wore down to go for a cover right away. And a double count administered by Paul Turner. I think that maneuver was almost just instinct taking over on Brett Albright right there. But he did nail Pierce with the maneuver. Can Albright capitalize here? Can he follow up? Trying to dig down yet one more time to mount some offense here. He's back to his feet first. Looking for it again. Half Nelson suplex. These two men are continuing the legacy of great title matches put forth by the likes of Harley Race, Ric Flair, Ricky Steamboat, and all the greats who have made the NWA World Heavyweight title what it has meant to this great sport. Both men truly giving it all that they've got. Both men worn down. Both have lost a lot of blood. And the referee administering the count once again. Both men on their knees, exchanging shots. here. Back and forth they go and Pierce goes to the eyes. Albright, German suplex, holds on to the waist lock. Trying to find the strength to deliver another. Pierce trying to fight him off but can't do it. German suplex. Two Germans still holding on to the waist lock. Pierce almost dead weight in the arms of Albright. Sarah Del Rey trying to hand, but unable to do so. Three German suplexes in succession by the challenger. But he still won't release the waist lock. 
Four German suplexes. Just trying to wear out Adam Pierce. These fans to their feet here in New York City. Still holding out of that waist lock. Five. Albright, can he go for a cover here? Pierce is limp. Cover. Somehow Pierce with the shoulder up. What does Brett Albright have to do to keep Adam Pierce down for a count of three? Two half Nelson suplexes, five German suplexes in succession, and Pierce is still in this matchup. Say what you want about Adam Pierce and Sweet and Sour Incorporated. That shows you exactly how much the NWA World Heavyweight Championship means to Scrap Iron Adam Pierce. And once again, Albright out to the apron, trying to get the energy necessary to climb to the top, get his balance, and strike. Pierce back to his feet inside the ring. And he sees Albright up top. Sunset flip, but Pierce rolls through. Small package. Only two. Takes out the leg, crowbar!